Hello, people. I am Silverwolf of 20 once again, and I have yet another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. I know I said I retired, but this guy challenged me. His name is Silver5 on Shenango. And I decided, you know what? Why not? So I put the right Perior to sleep, and then he brings in Iron Maiden, bane of my existence in this battle, pretty much. So I retreat. The Knowing he's going to go for the Thunder Wave, I allow Entei to get paralyzed, because I didn't really want to bring anything else in at this moment in time. So, he predicts the fire move and goes into Rhyperior. Rhyperior takes nothing from it. I'm like, okay. So let me switch out and go into Venusaur, scare it away. And... I go for the Leech Seed on the predicted switch. I was not expecting him to bring in Alakazam, but seeing that that is indeed what he brought in, let me bring in something to resist the obvious Psychic. So, Galahad comes in, and yes, I love using Galahad, he's fun. But unfortunately, the Psychic got the special D-drop, which sucked, but, you know, it happens. So he goes into Iron Maiden, I guess predicting the Calm Minds, and he is going to go for Stealth Rock, figuring that he's that I can't do anything to him. I do show the Flamethrower, but it doesn't do all that much, which was kind of disappointing. So now, I'm at full health, he's not, he's going to Thunder Wave me, and of course, because of my luck, I get the instant Parahax, which sucked. So now he shows the very weird and yet very cool Shadow Claw Registeel. I'm like, I did not see that coming at all. And I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to die. Let me just click Slack off. But as it turned out, he needed a crit to kill, which he did not get. So... If I slack off, if I keep slacking off the damage, I might be able to get up to a point where I could potentially destroy this Registeel, but I get the Parahax. So now Galahad is officially worthless. So I'm just going to let it die. There's no reason to switch it out, really. So Galahad goes down. It was sad, but he's going to be avenged. I'm going to go into the Entei and predict the switch into Rhyperior and go for the bite, just for lols. And I'm like, you know what? Let me do something funny. Let me trace Solid Rock, because all Rhyperior have Solid Rock. So, he goes for Mega's Horn and misses. I go straight for the Ice Beam. He lives, unfortunately, because of the Solid Rock, but actually, Solid Rock is going to make something very funny happen in a minute. It will be the most epic thing you will have seen in a long time for my channel. Heracross is now going to come in, and I just expect him to go straight for the close combat, so I go recover, but he actually shows Protect. Which is not something you see every day on Heracross, but then that automatically means he's orbed. And he shows the flame orb. He's going to go for the close combat. And normally it would completely destroy me, but with Solid Rock I live with 1 HP. He was like, God damn it! So I'm able to get a discharge off. In hindsight, I probably should have gone for Ice Beam because it has more base power, but doesn't matter, Zordon gets obliterated, so that is him down, I'm going to go into Entei, and he's probably just leaving Heracross in as, as fodder at this point, or was hoping for Parahax, but I go extreme speed, and because of the minus two defense, and because of my muscle band, it goes down. So now he's going to bring in Swallow Protect to activate his second Flame Orb. Which I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Best I could do now is weaken it with extreme speed. Which is what I do. And luckily I do not get the Parahex. He's gonna go for Facade, that's easily gonna destroy Entei. So 
so all hope seems lost for beating the Registeel. But in comes Sora, my trusty primate. I'm going to go for the punishment because, well, it's punishment. It's awesome. And he's going to go into Alakazam, thinking he's going to outspeed me. He does not. And fortunately for me, Alakazam gets raped by punishment. So that's two Pokemon that Sora has taken out already. Sora has just evened out the odds. I know T-Wave is coming now, so I'm just going to switch to Venusaur to take it, because Venusaur does not care about being paralyzed at all. Which is awesome. So he goes to Shadow Claw. It does nothing. I get the Parahax. I'm like, okay, whatever. So he's going to start... So now he shows the Seismic Toss. I'm like, okay. I want this thing to sleep right now. So that I could stall it out. Sleep powder hits. And here's where Hax comes into play again. He avoids the first leech seed. I'm like, ugh. He avoids the second leech seed. I'm like, god damn it. So now And third turn I get the Parahax. So that's three turns in a row I get screwed over. And I actually predict him to wake up. And I go for the sleep powder, and it hits again. He's like, damn! How did you know he was going to wake up? I'm like, prediction for the win! So now, Iron Maiden is asleep again. I get the leech seed off on it, which pretty much all it's really going to do is slowly whittle it down. I'm not expecting leech seed to be of massive help, but I go into Sora, and he wakes up and goes for the seismic toss. I'm like, do I really want to attempt to KO this thing now, or if it lives, it will get off the T-Wave and Sora will be screwed. So what to do, what to do, I just decide to do the safe U-turn, get Sora out of the way, go into Venusaur, predicting the T-Wave, it does indeed come. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I need this thing asleep before I can do anything else. So... Now he's going to withdraw and show his Honchkrow, which is deadly to me. I need some way to get rid of it. But all three of my, Pokemon, my remaining Pokemon are extremely weak to it. So, he's going to take the buttload of recoil, and he's going to take the life orb recoil, which shows the move he has. So now I bring in V, I'm thinking, okay, either he's going to Brave Bird and take more recoil, or switch, predict predicting the Hidden Power Ice, and I go for Stun Spore. So now Iron Maiden is paralyzed, I go with the Hidden Power Ice, just predicting him to go for T-Wave, because I did not want to switch Primate Bins with T-Wave, that would have been fatal. So I was right, now I decide to U-turn, because he's not going to go for T-Wave twice in a row. So I bring Sora in at this point, he gets the Parahax, and I'm like, okay, it's now or never. If he, if he survives close combat, I get paralyzed and lose, but he gets killed by close combat. And that means it's 2 to 1, so it... All Primate has to do is KO Honch Curl, I win. Or, now that I know about the Sucker Punch, it's all a matter of can Primate survive Sucker Punch at almost half health. Sucker Punch hits, and he, min and he manages to KO, but what a great game. And I will talk in a second. So yes, what a fantastic game this was. Um, I have to thank Silver5 for this basically great game. I haven't had a very good battle in a long time. And if I could find other games like this, I might actually not retire after all. But that remains to be seen. That definitely remains to be seen. Um, yeah, that's it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle as much as I did. Um, Silver, if you leave your YouTube channel in the description, 
or if you give it to me on Chenango, I will definitely plug you. As if I haven't already, but still. You know, um... But yeah, that's it for right now. Another yellow in a couple of days. And again, I hope you guys enjoy this battle. I am Silver, and I will see you guys later, and take care. Bye!